as you clicked on this certain video, you're probably looking for a two-stroke dirt bike. If not, feel free to stay here anyway. This is gonna be some sort of long time owner review, as I've ridden this bike for more than one year now. I will tell you some of the specifics on the Gas Gas EC300 and my personal, non-professional experience. The Gas Gas EC300 is a two-stroke dirt bike with 300 cubic centimeters of engine displacement. It also is liquid-cooled and uses an exhaust valve to increase power at certain RPMs. The radiators don't have an extra fan, but even when riding slow for a while it doesn't get too hot. The exhaust pipe is pretty high above the ground and usually won't get smashed by rocks or logs. I fitted an exhaust slash engine guard anyway. The FMF exhaust sounds really good and dampens the typical two-stroke ring-a-ding-a-ding in low RPMs. I have no idea if the FMF Power Core 2 increases power or sounds much different than the stock exhaust. To provide extra adjustments for the engine's behavior, there is the CDI switch that changes the throttle response a tiny bit. I personally don't feel too much difference and usually ride in fast mode. Another 5 engine settings can be done by adjusting the centrifugal regulator, which in or decreases the diameter of the flywheel to make its response quicker or slower. The difference is definitely noticeable. Once I lost the cover of the regulator and spilled some transmission oil until I noticed back at the base. We luckily then found it and I glued it in with some Loctite. It holds up pretty well. The front forks are Matsaki with a diameter of 46mm or 48mm on the racing model, which is what I ride. The 48mm fork is fully adjustable in compression, rebound and preload. Its suspension travel are 305mm. It feels extremely hard compared to forks on motocross bikes, so don't get intimidated. The rear shock is a Riga racing shock, which is adjustable in low speed compression, rebound and preload. Its travel are 298mm. The even better Gas Gas EC300 Racing Replica Factory model offers high speed compression adjustments too. The rear suspension works by linkage system, which is a bit too exposed in my opinion. That's why I built my very own simple link guard. You'll find the video in the info box up ahead and in the description. The brakes are Nissin brake calipers and Galfa discs. They do work like they are supposed to, and I can't argue with that. To protect them from dirt and evil rocks, I fitted some discards. The stock tires are Metzilla 6 Days Extreme, which aren't too bad. I still run the first set of rubber, so I don't know anything different. To get rid of flats and get nice grip due to super low tire pressures, I fitted the tubeless system, which transforms tubed wheels into tubeless wheels. I recently lost all the air in my rear tire and didn't even notice it at first. It's amazing to know that even the flat can stop you. Short servicing intervals are one of the unfavorable points of smokers. This may apply to racers who are constantly ripping the track, but definitely not for the average trail rider. After flooding the engine with muddy water, I took apart the engine to clean up the mess. At this point, it had about 60 running hours and it looked brand new. I will check it again when I'm past 100 hours. The reason why the engine drank muddy water was the leaky airbox. I have no idea why they built it that way, but I sealed it afterwards. Of course it's my fault too, as I just couldn't resist that nice, mushy, slushy puddle. The Gas Gas's favorite terrain are tight single tracks and technical hard enduro sections. 
Surely she can also rip motocross tracks, but there's a reason why there are motocross bikes for that type of riding. It's very noticeable that Gas Gas is specialized on building top trial spikes. In lower revs it handles very smooth and provides lots of grunt. When opening the throttle hell breaks loose and turns the bike into a fighter jet. That's the point that the exhaust valve comes in handy and increases power. The EC300 weighs about 107 kg without fuel, which compared to newer bikes like the 2017 KTM EXC is pretty heavy. Mine might be even heavier after fitting all the protecting stuff. I usually just fill in less fuel to counter the heavier parts. The tank holds 9.5 liters of two-stroke mixture, which usually is enough for one and a half hour of hard riding. The electric starter adds some more weight, but makes it easy to fire up the engine. The kickstarter does its job, although it hits the foot peg and often gets stuck. Well, that's it for my one year review of the Gas Gas EC300E Racing. I'm pretty satisfied with my Spanish beauty so far. If you're looking for a two stroke dirt bike, be sure to test ride as many bikes as possible. Then decide which bike suits your style of riding best. If you have more questions about the gas gas or other stuff, just let me know in the comment section. My name's Rich, keep on riding.